hello grenade. Should be using my uh, my armor. There we go. Just gonna go check on that room we, we uh, bypassed. Stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And, and the, the refugees, refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean Beacon. You had a vision of the Reapers last time you were here on Eden Prime. It must attune your mind to understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. I knew there was a reason we needed to come here. <laughs> Right, let's move on, shall we? I wonder where we're going to find the clue about the pod. Tricky. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Oh, that makes life easier.
victory! Seal the bunker! Acknowledged! How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life bots. Nice. Third of our people. Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. Understood that one too? Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. And we leveled up, which is pretty cool. Um, let's have a look at the squad. Hmm. Two level up points. Uh, I must use Cryo Blast sometime, that's pretty cool. Oh, Edie's only got one. <laughs> I guess you can have that. Liara's got two. And what are you going to have, Liara? Okay, good to go. I'm sure uh, Cerberus isn't going to let us leave just like that. I'm sure we're going to fight all the way back now. Yep, I knew it. I bloody knew it. Backup forces are here. for some overload. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Is there anyone else got overload? Yeah, he's got some. Where's my companion to go? Let's get on the roof. Oh, there they come. <laughs> in the labs? No. Damn, two turrets.
<laughs> Trying to get singularity in there. Oh, wrong target. Okay, grenade time. Damn turret, take it out already. They have retracted the bridge. We'll need to locate the controls. No time, let's find another way across. Another way across, yeah. Maybe there's a way through here. Take a look at this. Ah, door. There's a way right there. Should have seen that uh, ladder in the distance. Too quiet. Okay, let's open this I'm baby. transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Headshot, bitch. <laughs> Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Or set up preparations for the next wave. Preparations? What preparations? Has the life pod ended stasis mode? It should not be much longer. Of course. We should look for ways to hamper the enemy's approach. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Heavy mech inbound. 
Ooh, nice. Time to try out a uh, overload. Try a singularity on the bitch. The life pod now. Hooray. Let's see what's inside. Our new Prothean friend. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Prepare a neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. 
I'll fail you. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Synthetic. This is not a good beginning. <laughs> it's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. Hmm. We've never met one before. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Should we be worried? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? I prefer Commander. And we did our best with what we knew. Your message wasn't exactly specific. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. 
Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? Lies are easy to detect, but you seem to be telling the truth, Commander. For now. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No, it contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. I'm sorry I finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? <laughs> Never mind. What do you wish to know? What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide, until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Hmm. I think that's enough for now. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> <laughs> Commander.
Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Alright, we have a new crewmate. Good old Javik. And we found some new weapons. Great stuff. Alright, that was a very, very long uh, mission there. And lots of cutscenes, so we'll leave it off there, guys. See you next time.